this video is walk you guys through your syllabus and your course calendar. I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can. You can always access this information here on the syllabus tab on the left or here in the modules um, right here in the week one module. And uh, I'm going to go through this as you see there is a quiz that follows. So I'll go through it as quickly as I can. Um, the course runs from January 30th through May 11th. Your final exam will take place between May 8th and 10th. Um, once you take the exam, you'll have a two hour window um, anywhere in those three days to take the exam. It's uh, about a dozen questions um, and you can do it at your leisure. The last day for course withdrawal is April 13th. Um, if you need to contact me, uh, please use the Canvas email. That's the preferred email. Um, I've given you my faculty email just in case you can't access Canvas, which does happen sometimes. Um, but this is how I'll communicate with you guys every week. Um, I'll send you a reminder every Monday morning of the weekly assignments and I'll email you from there. Uh, so that's the best email because that's the one I check every day. Uh, if you do email me, you can expect a response within 24 hours. Um, there is no textbook you have to buy for this course. This is provided to you inside the course via MindTap. Um, the, anything else that is outside of this um, textbook, I will provide to you as a PDF. The only thing you have to have is Microsoft Word. You can get that through the college for free. Everybody has provided it um, with your Office 365 um, uh, materials. And then just make sure you have access, of course, to the internet and um, to complete all of your work. You guys can kind of read the, the syllabus policies for um, sick and, and health um, issues. Uh, space coverings, things like that, obviously don't apply here, but contact tracing may, so that information is for you there. Uh, this course looks at different literary genres across regions, eras, movements, um, and different authors. Uh, we're going to look at short stories, poetry, drama, um, and, and maybe excerpts from novels. So we'll be essentially looking at three different genres, prose, poetry, and drama. You guys are going to look at not only um, the canonical authors, but the more marginalized authors as well. Um, and this should help kind of deepen your appreciation of these different uh, genres of literature, different um, authors, uh, and the criticism that surrounds these different texts. Um, you guys can kind of read the prereqs and the skills and outcomes yourself, um, but the expectations, this is an online course, so just make sure that you're aware that everything you do and say is in writing. Um, so please make sure you're respectful of everyone in the course. As noted, you do need to have um, Microsoft Word for this course. The reason for that is we follow MLA formatting and your essays, major writing assignments need to be turned in with MLA formatting. If you use pages, PDF, text files, whatever, uh, that does change the formatting. So that's why Microsoft Word is required. Um, if you have a problem with Canvas, there is a Canvas support line and also an email. Um, this is from the college. Each credit hour for this course requires about 45 hours of work uh, across the entirety of the course. Um, and then, as I noted, this is an online course, so please have, um, you know, appropriate behavior towards everyone in the class, towards myself as well. Um, and the cell phone policy obviously doesn't really apply here. There is online attendance for you guys. Um, make sure that you are attending. Uh, there is also a participation grade in the class. Um, any college sponsored activity uh, doesn't really apply here since the, the way the course is set up is on a weekly basis and you can work ahead, but um, we do get notifications if a student will be out for a day for a college sponsored activity. Um, make, makeup and late work policy, um, it's pretty simple because the course is structured on a weekly basis and because you are able to work ahead if you like, late work and work recycled um, from this or another class are not accepted. Um, that is simply because you have the ability to work at the pace that best suits your schedule throughout the week. Um, so if you have work or if you have family visiting or whatever it might be, you're able to kind of adjust your schedule. Everything is due on Sunday night of each week at 11.59 p.m. Um, that is central time aligned with the college. Um, and if you need to, like I said, you can actually work ahead within a unit. Um, you'll have all weeks within a unit open to you. So say you have a vacation coming up or a family visiting uh, in a couple weeks and you know you need to get ahead, you certainly can do that. Um, the recycled work is really sim simply because it's a form of self-plagiarism. So uh, that means that you can't copy and paste, say, a discussion board directly into your essay. It's expected that each assignment has new content, unique content. You also can't use work from another class or reuse work from another class in this class. 
Um, we do use Turnitin and it is, it is pretty good at finding, uh, you know, recycled work, um, pointing it out for the instructor, also anything uh, online as well. Um, that said, if you have an extreme extenuating circumstance, say you are hospitalized for three weeks unexpectedly, um, then obviously we would work with you to work on an extension. Um, if you do need to request an extension for a valid reason, I ask that you do it as far ahead of time as you possibly can. If you email me on a Sunday night at 1030 and say, I had to work this week and I was really busy, can I have an extension? My answer will probably be no. Um, so just make sure that you are managing your time and you should be good. You guys can read all this. It's from the college, just kind of how to write at a, a college level. But most importantly, um, like I said, we are using MLA formatting in this class. So that is the research formatting that you're doing. It's double space, 12 point font, Times New Roman, Arial, Cambria, Calibri, one inch margins all around, headers in the top left, um, uh, page numbers in the top right, etc. There is a full walkthrough video and guideline explanation for how to use MLA. So don't stress about it right now. I just want to make that clear um, because I believe that is a question on your quiz. Um, you guys can kind of read the, the outcomes for success, but the plagiarism note is pretty simple. Please don't plagiarize. Like I said, Turnitin is really great about finding not only work from other students or work from your previous classes that you may have done, but also obviously internet sources as well. Um, you want to make sure that you are citing and quoting anything that is an idea or quote from another source. Um, if you don't, that's plagiarizing. And um, if you plagiarize, you can get a zero on the assignment. You can fail the course. You can have your extracurricular activities impacted. Um, you can even be suspended or fail out of the college. So it's really, really, really not worth it for a max three to four page paper. Uh, so just please don't do it. Also, please don't try and change, you know, margins or make periods, larger sizes, things like that. Uh, I download every single essay and I check every single one of them. So I change the margins. I change the font size to what it should be. So if you do that, I will catch it. Um, okay, major topics covered. Your first unit is all about prose. So these are short stories that we're going to read from the likes of Ernest Hemingway or Edgar Allan Poe. Um, your essay for this is going to be two and a half to three and a half pages. You can always write more. You just can't write less. If you write less, you'll have uh, points taken off. Poetry unit is unit number two. That is a three to four page essay. And then your last unit, a drama unit, is two and a half to three and a half pages. Um, your grades, you guys can kind of see this, but you can track your grades throughout the semester in the gradebook tool in Canvas. Um, the breakdown is pretty simple. Essay one is 20. Essay two is 20. Essay three is 15. Your final exam is 10, discussions are 10, quizzes are 10, anything that's considered a journal or a major writing assignment is 10, and the participation is five. Um, all of this you guys can kind of track on your, your weekly calendar. I will say it's very important that you work through the modules, not through your assignments list. If you work through the assignments list, you're gonna miss a lot of context and instruction. Um, so make sure again that you're working through the modules. There will be some extra credit available to you guys in the last uh, unit as well as in finals week. Uh, and online course evals will be available after midterms. Um, the uh, academic ethics policy is here. Like I said, please don't plagiarize. It's pretty simple. You guys agree to this policy um, when you become students here through the handbook. Um, also, if you need uh, any type of um, uh, accommodation, you can do that through the accommodations um, office. The accommodations coordinator will send paperwork to me, I will sign it, you will sign it, and then we'll make sure those accommodations are, are um, accounted for. And last but not least, um, obviously equal opportunity. Like I said, please respect everyone in the class. Everything you do and say is in writing, so um, make sure that you respect everyone on the basis of race, religion, color, um, sex, whatever it might be. And then all of this is subject to uh, modification if need be. Okay, real quick, course schedule, high level. The first unit will be, uh, I think, weeks one through five. Um, and that is the unit where you will be looking at a number of different um, short stories and we'll look at how to break down uh, these texts. So looking at things like how to understand what literary analysis is, what is plot and conflict, what is uh, characterization, etc. Um, so we're going to read from Hemingway, Kate Chopin, Charlotte Perkins Gilman, uh, Updike, and Amy Tan, as well as Alice Walker, um, and also Poe. 
and Shirley Jackson. So we'll have a good uh, smattering of texts here that you're going to read. That first essay is going to be due by Sunday, March 5th at 11.59 p.m. Once that essay is completed and submitted, unit number two will open up on that Monday morning, the 6th. And that unit will be focused on poetry. So we'll do a week and then you'll have spring break. There is no work during that week. Come back. We'll finish out that unit by week nine. Um, and we're going to have a lot of different poems that we'll read across a lot of different um, sort of literary elements. That's due on Sunday, April 9th, the second essay. And then your third unit will open up on, on Monday, April 10th, and that will run us through the end of the course. That's going to be a drama unit, and that will focus on Death of a Salesman, which you may or may not have read in the past. Um, and uh, that will run us up through Sunday, May 7th. So the next week is finals week. And like I said, you'll have a three-day window to take the exam at your leisure. It's two hours once you start it. Um, there will also be some extra credit available here and in this week. So that is a quick overview, as quick as I can make it. If you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, go ahead and move on to your syllabus quiz.